Right, the team at golfonline.co.uk sent me this. It's a box set. I think we need to test it. So this is a classic way of buying clubs and it's a price balanced way of buying clubs, isn't it? It's a way of selecting what equipment you use purely based on maybe a bit of branding. Obviously this is a Wilson one. Wilson a recognized brand in sports. So what we're getting here is everything you need to go and play golf. And I'm gonna go and play golf with it. Let's get box setting. So what do we get in this box set? I get a golf bag, a carry bag with a double strap and a stand, flip out stand. I'm getting a driver, 15 degree free wood, five rinky dinks, I think it's 31 degree. And then a five, uh, then I start a six iron down to a pitching wedge. So no sand iron which is a little strange. Cavity back. And then, there is a sandwich. And a putter. So I am ready to play golf. This is everything. Take snobbery, take price, take everything out of the picture. I'm gonna play some holes with a box set. Grip's nearly on straight. Um, and show you what difference it might make. Let's get to the course. Right, the box set test is about to begin. I'm gonna play a few holes with them here at Dawlish Warren Golf Club. It's quite a nice afternoon. The bag feels relatively comfortable on my back. The irons are cavity back, chunky things, which are there obviously to help you. Pretty chunky top lines, those kind of things. So first I'll dog leg right, 349 yards. I'm gonna start with a 15 degree freewood. Again, black, fa uh, black top, silver face. Look, the materials from what I'm used to playing look cheap, finished looks cheaper. The box set is cheaper. Biggest thing, so you can see even here, like paint isn't quite finished correctly on top. But what effect does it have on my game? These are things that you spend money on, but do they make a difference to how you play? The freewood over the corner here is the play. Get that out the heel and low out the heel and it's actually working, just cutting around the corner. To be honest with you, I think that'll be perfect. Ball's just on the right side of the fairway here. I've got 95 yards in so I'm gonna hit the sand wedge. Take that tee shot even if the paint isn't quite finished right. Middle of the green, the sand wedge is chunky. You can see the lines here and the bottom of it. Struck it kind of middle heel. Middle right, uh, left side of the green. Um, again, you can see the finish around the ferrule here isn't fantastic. Well, I've got a putt for birdie. Right, walking up on the green, that is definitely a putt for birdie. Little left, but pin eye. All landed here. I would never choose this putt. I even feel like I have to stand more upright than I want to. But that is a part, and I almost hold that putt. You could argue lesser skilled golfers might struggle, but I do think that's still quite a weak argument. 175 of Nikon's finest yards. 175 downwind, so I'm gonna try and fly it about 165. So I'm gonna hit my seven, or the seven. Again, chunky and chunky. Flag slightly oh, it's at it actually. Depending on the bounces, could have another putt for birdie. So the lesser skilled comment can be argued, I think, because it's the desire to want to play golf that overrides everything. It's the desire to want to get out here on a nice evening like this and play that's got to win. If you've got budget, you can afford others, and you want better, that's fine. But they should never stop you playing.
chipping's still not good enough. Disappointing drop shot. Not sure I can blame the clubs there though. Right, 429 yards, drivers out, 10.5 degrees, that's what it comes. Again, same kind of finish. How am I gonna play this out? I'll hit that really good. Downwind, that end stopping. Drive's turned out perfect. 111 yards, sand wedge again, so I've gotta try and stop it. That pin is uh, not looking that accessible. Middle back of the green, very hard to get close to this bag. So walking up on the green, not a bad shot downwind to that pin. It's got a big drop off at the front, you see this green, so you've got to get it up there. That's a birdie. That's back to level par. And I'm not sure what everyone in the forums is gonna say. Golf sat at a desk. Never quite the same as out on the course, is it? Right, we've got a bit of rain and it's 462 into the wind now. Driver, let the fun begin. Down the right. Another fairway there, but it's gonna be a long way in from there. Right in the rough, 258 out into the wind. A good birdie here, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I hit with a free wood and see if I can chase it down, this isn't a sensible play. It's come out pretty good, actually. Just up the left side. That came out quite nice. I tried these on the launch monitor and the driver spun around 3,000, so more than I want it to spin. And it launched quite high because it's a higher loft than I use. The irons were low spinning but decent performing. I just don't think people are buying these on numbers. They're buying them from a box, they're taking them out of the box, and they're having fun on the course like I am here. It kind of gets you playing, doesn't it? Right up the left, about 60 yards into the wind. I think I flicked off this bush actually, so I'm quite lucky to find this one. Sand wedge. Up and down for the par would be nice. Quite spinning, beautiful. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, I'm going to show you the stop on that one because I struck it really well. And then there's talk about grooves and wear and those kind of things. Obviously, these are fresh out of the box. Let's show you how that one stops. It is into the wind. Okay, that one's landing here. So just there, stopping there. Not too bad at all, putt for putt. So make of this what you will, I've had a lot of fun there. I started with clubs like this, and it's clubs like this that got me started. My parents would never have been able to afford top-end clubs and custom fit, and a kid who's growing, who's gonna constantly change clubs and sizes. What clubs like this do is they get people into the game, having fun, and then they can choose if they wanna throw more money at it or not, if that makes you a better player or not. Well, there's no defining study that shows that because it's so player specific. For me, you're looking to get into the game, you haven't got that much money to spare, this is as good as anything, it's friendly. I've just had a lot of fun. I've shot one over par on those few holes, which is pretty standard for my golf in a bit of wind. I'm quite enjoying them. Mm -hmm.